Yes, Jesus loves me. Oh, yes, Jesus loves me. Oh, yes, Jesus loves me. For the Bible tells me so. To God be the glory, to the spirit of the true and living God, to all of the saint seekers and servants alike, to all of you all across the social media spectrum, to Belgrove and to everyone that's with us today, we thank God for this day. We thank God for his love and grace and mercy, because truly we thank God for this day that he has created. And we should rejoice and be glad in it. We, we should have a song every day that we are lifted off our beds, that God is good all the time, and that our minds are always kept in perfect peace if we keep them stayed on the Lord. Amen. We thank God for his word. We thank God. Yes, Jesus loves me. Oh, that's my favorite song. And, and that's what we want to talk about today to each and every one of you today where you are, that we want to impart to you that the importance of having a song a joy, a condition that you know God is, that God can and God will. Church, if you turn with me today, we want to start from 2 Chronicles, the 20th chapter, the 21st and 22nd verses in Exodus 15, the second verse, 2 Chronicles 20, 21 and 22 in Exodus 15, the 15, the second verse. We, we want to share in your hearts today how to be positioned for these difficult times, how to get closer to God, as the Bible tells us, to seek the Lord while he can be found and draw nigh to him and he will draw nigh to us. Amen. We, we thank God today because God wants you conditioned in a way that no matter what you're going through, no matter what you're dealing with, that he's still God and he's with you. As he told Israel, he said, when you pass this through the water, you will not be overwhelmed. And when you go through the fire, that you will not be singed. Church, we, we want to encourage you today, and we certainly hope when we know that there's somebody that needs this word today, about the Lord and and, and 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 so if you're with me let us read together second chronicles the 20th chapter 21 and 22 and then we'll go to Exodus 15 the second chapter we want you to keep your bibles with you before because we will be sharing other scriptures if you jot down those, we do encourage you to read this pericope of 2 Chronicles at the 20th chapter in its entirety because it tells a great story, which we will touch on but a small part of it today. We'll present all scriptures to you in the English Standard and King James Version Bibles where applicable. 2 Chronicles, the 20th chapter, 20 through 21 through 20 through 22. We want you to follow us now as we read. It says, And they rose early in the morning and went out into the wilderness of Tekoa. And when they went out, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, Judah, and inhabitants of Jerusalem. Believe in the Lord your God, and you will be established. Believe his prophets, and you will succeed. And when he had taken counsel with the people, he appointed those who were to sing to the Lord and praise him in holy attire as they went before the army and say, give thanks to the Lord 
for his steadfast love endureth forever. And when they began to sing and praise, the Lord set an ambush against the men of Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir, who had come against Judah, so that they were routed. In Exodus 15, verse 2, it says, The Lord is my strength, church, and my song, and he has become my salvation. He is my God, and I will prepare him an habitation. My Father's God, I will exalt him. Church, to the word of God, we thank God for the word and may the Lord add a blessing to the hearers and doers of the word. Church, the scripture says, the Lord is my strength and my song. The Lord is my strength and my song. We want you to get this today. We want you to lock on here. Uh, uh, turn off all the distractions now and focus on this because somebody needs to hear this word. The Lord is my strength and my song. Church saints living in these times, the question begs to answer according to this scripture. The Lord is my strength and my song. Do you have a song? That's what we want to know today. That's what God wants to remind you. Uh, do you have a song? Uh, in times of trouble and fear, now we, we want to know, do you have a song? <laughs> do you have that place of refuge where you can go in your mind and, 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 and just get into a good place? Uh, doing sickness and suffering, church, do you have a song. Somebody help me out here. When, when times are difficult, it, it, you need to know when you have a song, church, it, it blesses God and, and that we have a song of praise in our hearts. Can we help somebody here, church? I, I, I don't know, but I, I thank God that I uh, I, that I have a song in my heart. And, and, I, and I'm going to tell you a little story. As a child, many years ago, my grandmother said to me, whenever you are in fear, son, sing, yes, Jesus loves me. And I didn't understand the depth of her wisdom in telling me this. Um, but she was putting a song of life into my heart, church. And that's where we're going today. You know, many of us are at different places in our lives, but we hadn't gotten our song yet. We have listened to many songs. We dwell with many songs. And, and certainly God's kingdom provides many songs that will strengthen you. But everyone, when you come to know the Lord, when you come to get to that place where the, the joy of the Lord is in your heart, when you come to that place where you recognize the goodness of God, you're going to have a song in your heart. And I want to share that with you today. As a child, my, my grandmother made sure that one of the things she did was uh, give me understanding that there was a song that, that, that must dwell in your heart. And she taught me a long time ago by telling me this word as a young child. Uh, when you in fear, just say, yes, Jesus loves me. And that said a lot to me. And, and that became my song, church. When, I, when, when, when the times or every season. Since then, even through the years where I sang the blues and the jazz and played all kinds of music in all kinds of venues, uh, that song that she put in my heart, Yes, Jesus Loves Me, sustained me and brought me down through the years. Uh, the other thing it did, it anchored me in the Lord as a child. They say you train up a child in the way they should go, and when they are old, they shall not depart. She anchored me, she put an indelible mark in my head uh, that Jesus loved me as a young, I didn't know exactly what it meant, uh, but she put it there and she said, that's your song. She said, anytime, son, you get, you become fearful, I, I, I want you to just sing, yes, Jesus loves me. If, uh, if something frightens you, run, but sing, yes, Jesus loves me, and I didn't understand, but what it did whenever I was frightened, whenever I was struggling, whenever I, I was feeling rejected or neglected, uh, I would sing that song, Yes, Jesus Loves Me, and immediately my mind would go to a place of perfect 
peace, uh, church. So we want you to know today that uh, I don't know what your song is. I don't know what your favorite song is, uh, but you should have a song uh, if you have a relationship with Jesus Christ uh, and you have recognized the goodness of God uh, in your life. So I ask you today, do you have a song? Church, you need to know that my grandmother was teaching me that in times of trouble and uncertainty and fear, my song will take my mind off of my troubles and put my thoughts on the Lord. And in our Paris pericope today, uh, it was King Jehoshaphat who gained God's favor through a song, yeah. Yeah, when we sing to the Lord, it pleases God. You know what it does? Uh, it tells God that we, we, remind, we are reminded of his, his glory in our lives. We are reminded, we are assured of his promises. Uh, in 2 Chronicles, uh, the 20th chapter, where we are staying in this part of the scripture, uh, starting with the second verse, we're going to gloss over the story here a little bit. It said, some men came and told Jehoshaphat, a great multitude is coming against you, king, from Edom, from beyond the sea, and behold, they are in Hazardon Tamar, that is in Gedi, in Gedi. Then Jehoshaphat was afraid, naturally. He was afraid and, and set his face to seek the Lord. Notice that he, he became afraid when we get bad news. Where do we set our face? I don't want to digress or get on that tangent, but the word of God, I, when you preach it, uh, 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 piece by piece and word by word, you, you precept by precept, it's hard to go past some points in that scripture. Can we help you here? It says here that uh, then Jehoshaphat became afraid at, the, at, at those words and at that news and, and set his face to seek the Lord, immediately set his face to seek the Lord and proclaimed a fast throughout all Judah. And Judah assembled to seek help from the Lord from all the cities of Judah, they came to seek the Lord. And then in verse 18, it says, Then Jehoshaphat bowed his head with his face to the ground in an humble position, church. And all Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem fell down before the Lord, worshiping the Lord. And then in verse 20, and 20 through 22, it says, And they rose early in the morning and went out into the wilderness of Tekoa, and when they went out, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, Judah, and the inhabitants of Jerusalem. Believe in the Lord your God, and you will be established. Believe in his prophets, and you will succeed. Can we help somebody here? And when he had taken counsel with the people, he appointed those. This is key, church. This is key right here. And when he had taken counsel and told them to believe in the Lord your God and you will be established, believe in his prophets and you will succeed. The next thing he did, he appointed those who were to sing to the Lord and praise him in holy attire. Notice what he said there, that he appointed them to sing to the Lord and to praise him in holy attire, in proper dress. Can we help somebody here? And he said, and they went before the army and they sang, give thanks to the Lord for his steadfast love endureth forever. Now in verse 22, it says, and when they began to sing and praise the Lord, the Lord set an ambush against the men of Ammon, Moab and Mount Seir, and who had come against Judah. So they were routed. Church, I can't say but one thing. When we praise God under all circumstances, some of the troubles that are headed our way never get to us. Can we help somebody here? When we praise God and, and, and have a song in our heart, uh, sometimes we never endure pains that, uh, that Satan is trying to afflict upon us. When we praise God, uh, you got to know that your conversation has to be about a praise of the Lord. Uh, and this is why I say we can't mix songs, church. We can't keep singing those songs, those sad, sad songs. As uh, Otis Redding used to say, I keep singing those sad, sad songs. Uh, you got to get a song to the Lord in your heart. And, and maybe people don't understand that, that sometimes. 
times we we live back there into those old worldly songs. I ain't got to, that's fine for entertainment. Uh, but you got to know that the, the song God is watching in your heart uh, should be for him. Uh, what is your favorite song? Do you have a song uh, to the Lord for all that he's done for you? Is there a song that you will find when you are troubled uh, that will lift you out of your troubles? Is there a song that you will go to when you are struggling uh, that will lift you out of your struggle? When it, do you know there's a song that will to give you direction with that will show you the way do you have a song to lift you out because the the bible says sing and rejoice unto the lord when you do that you tell god like jehoshaphat's army did that i know everything is going to be all right god i know it you know let me share something with you when you have a song it reminds us when our children i remember all of our children we used to do this too. We get something to eat, we enjoy, we be just humming, just humming and swinging our legs. <clears throat> That's what a, a glorious song to God should do for you. You should have that same feeling that you used to have uh, when you got your favorite potato chip or you were you were eating out of the, 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 the cake mix bowl that your mother used to make the cake batter, huh? and you're sitting on the bench. I know I used to do that and, and just swing my feet and say, mm, mm, that is good. I, I hear sometimes, you know, sometimes when you got a song, you're in the shower and you, you can have church in the shower. You can, I, 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 I love the song. I preached about it last week about I never lost my praise uh, where, 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 where the songstress said that uh, I've been through something. I've gone through something. But God has brought me through And I never lost my praise I don't know about you But if God If you recognize anything that God has done for you You should have a praise on your heart If you recognize down through the years What God has brought you from You should have a song that you recognize And it doesn't have to be the same song It's not about the the particular song. It's about the fact that you have a heart of song to God for all that he's done for us. And that's what my grandmother did for me. She said, uh, son, you just sing, yes, Jesus loves me. And, 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 and when something frightened me, it, it, I say, yes, Jesus loves me. And, and, I, and I no longer thought about what may be frightening me uh, or what may be hurting me. Uh, I, I, I immediately put my mind on the Lord. Do you have a song? In these times, do you have a song you can we help somebody here church when 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 times are well we should also have a song in psalm 91 verses 1 it says all oh, oh sing to the lord a new song for he has done marvelous things church oh sing uh, unto the lord a new song for he has done marvelous things you know the bible says out of the mouth uh, comes life and death. We speak life and death, and the speaker will take thereof what he says. So you need to understand this. We can speak ourselves to life, or we can speak ourselves to death. If we're always negative, we are always going to walk in death. But when we have a song to the Lord, when we have a song about the Word of God, Jesus said the Word is life, and the Word is spirit. There's no way that you can walk in death when you have a song to the Lord. So what is your song to the Lord? That's what we need right now. That's where it all starts. Jehoshaphat, when he was getting ready to go to battle, uh, he had done prayed, he had done worship, uh, and he had done sought the Lord, where the Lord had told Israel one time, get off your knees and stop praying. Let me see you move by faith. Uh, and when he started moving forward, he understood. He said, centuries go out uh, and in front of the army and sing praises to the Lord. Uh, but he also said, be sure you dress right to honor the Lord and holy a tie. In other words, we got to be in the right position uh, that pleases God. We got to be in the right image uh, to please God. Can we help somebody here? You need to know that your song is your joy in and your song is your joy out. Somebody often asks Smalls, why are you 
have so much peace these days. Let me tell you something. When I was singing the, the other songs, I, I had a whole lot of friends. I had a whole lot of money. I, I had a whole lot of material things, but I, I didn't have the peace uh, that I have with the song that I have right now. You need to know that when your song is to the glory of God, Oh, my Lord, my Lord, everything is going to be all right. <clears throat> when I think about the song, you got to know how this thing worked, how, how praise worked. God didn't miss a beat. He didn't miss anything about our worship. And, and I know we're not back in the church, in the sanctuary, as free as we want to be. But Jesus said, God, that God is a spirit. We worship him in spirit and in truth. Uh, and, and, you know, and that's the bottom line. And he, where God is, there's liberty. There's freedom. Don't you understand that? Uh, we can worship God anyway because thou will keep you in perfect peace uh, if you keep your mind on him. Uh, but if your song, if you don't have a song to take your mind off the mess, uh, uh, you're going to always struggle with some of the things you're going through. Can we help somebody here? I'm reminded of Saul, and I'm reminded of the prophet Micah. One time he was vexed, dealing with Ahab and Jehoshaphat, and one of the Ahab, the, the bad king, asked him to preach and pray for him. And Micah knew that Ahab did not have anything worthy for the Lord. So Micah was vexed. He, he, he couldn't find his spirit to preach. You ever been that way? Sometimes you can't find your way. And, 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 and Micah, he, 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 he called on the minstrel and said, come and play a song for me. He said, I need a song to lift me up. And when the minstrel played a song for him, it put him in a posture to preach the gospel church. That's why it's so important that in the church, and, man, and help us Lord, that we go in the church that they, the musicians, the minstrels should be minstrels that play well, not about your particular music skill, but about your heart of God, that you have a song for the Lord uh, in your heart. And when you play that way, all the worldly stuff would not be in your ministry. And I can speak on that. Let the Lord say, let the church say amen. Uh, you need to know church God wants to tweak some lives today. Uh, he wants to give you a song. He says some, some are worrying too much. You're worrying, you're worrying, you're worrying. Your whole day is about worry. Uh, you have no peace. You have no, no satisfaction. Some are too easily shedding tears of despair. Instead of tears of joy, you know, God don't want you drowning in your tears of despair, church. He, he wants you walking and shouting in your tears of joy. Some are trying uh, to pretend uh, that your life is okay while hiding within your own secret places. Uh, you can't glorify God by hiding your mess, uh, hiding behind your mess. Uh, God wants you to dump that stuff and, uh, and, and show everybody what he's done for you. <clears throat> Help us, Lord. Uh, you need to know some abound within yourselves. Yeah, that's right. We're speaking to somebody today. Some of you are bound up in yourselves, your pride, your selfishness, who you are. <laughs> Your song is about you. <laughs> See, you got to get this here. When you learn that your song is about God, that's the thing that my, my grandmother did, praise God. And she, 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 she realized that I needed to know who Jesus was, even if I wasn't old enough to know who he was. And she gave me a song about Jesus that was a song of promise that he loves me. <laughs> Can we help somebody here? Uh, we need to know, church, I ask you, do you have a song? Uh, uh, if you don't have a song, you need to get a song. Uh, in closing, if you, uh, if you don't have a song, make song, the song of David your song. The song right here, Psalm 27, you know. We're all familiar with these songs, but we hadn't taken hold of them. And I'm going to share with you, you can't take hold of the songs of the Lord and go home and, and live off the songs of the world. Can we help somebody here? 
I, I don't want to go back there. I don't want, I don't want to, I, 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 I can talk about some of the songs of the world, but we want to encourage you in closing. If you don't have a song, church, make song, the song of David, your song. David wrote about 85% of the songs and it's because he had a song in his heart. David had a song in his heart from a child. Remember, he was an excellent musician. He used to play, and, 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 and he used to play music in the sheepfold. So you need to know that. Psalm 27, 1 says, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. In whom shall I fear? Be afraid, church. You need to understand that. When we have a song, church, we our song edifies others. You can change the entire atmosphere of your, your home. You can, you know, when people are in trouble, when we've gone through these hurricanes and these catastrophes, we've we've saw stories where they would start singing a song. <laughs> and that song will give them, put them back in perfect peace and take their minds off of their circumstances. Can we help somebody here? In Psalm 43, it says, and he had put a new song in my mouth, even praise unto our God. Many said, shall see it and fear and shall trust in the Lord. Church, you need to know this. What the scripture is saying here is that he has put a new song. It, 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 and what he means is a song of new spirit, a, a, a renewal, a new experience. In other words, I have a song for everything God does. It's, in other words, I sing. In other words, it's about a melody. That there's a melody. I have a melody in my heart rejoicing in everything that God has done. And he says, I have a song. He'll put a new song in my mouth and even praise to our God, which many shall see it. In other words, it edifies. And it edifies others to say, with many shall see it and fear. Fear means in all. That's what that means here. It says, many shall see it and become in awe of God, how God worked things because they watch your example. They watch how you glorify God. They watch how you do things. They, and, and a lot of times you don't have what they have in the world standards. You don't do what they do in the world standards. Uh, but the thing that most people value the most, regardless of all the material things, is your peace. It's your anointing, it's your joy. So understand that, that's what David come to say. <clears throat> he said, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Let's lock right there as I close. Whom shall I fear? What shall I fear? What can be done? Psalm 27, you need to read it. I, he's my light and my salvation. What that means? He says, uh, he's my light. The Lord is my light. Let's stop right there. John 3, 16 says that God so loved the world that he came and he gave his only begotten son, who shall ever believe it in him, shall not perish but have everlasting life. And he said, he did not come to the world to condemn it, but to, 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 to find forgiveness, to lift it up, to bring light to the world. He was the light of the world. But what he said, there are some that don't want the light because their deeds are evil. The Lord is my light and my salvation. In other words, he will, he will give you light and direction and, and he's your salvation, not only into eternity, but right now. You have to be saved here before you go to eternity. And in that salvation here, before God calls us home, you're going to be blessed like you've never been blessed before. What is blessing? Blessing is not having more. It's having all that God gives you. It's having favor of God. Take this with you today. He says, whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Whom shall I be afraid? Church, whatever you're going through, whatever you're dealing with, do you have a song? When you have a song to the Lord, you do right by the Lord. You do the things you're supposed to do by the Lord. I'm going to ask you today, 
How are you treating God right now? It's not the time to half step on God. If you have a song and you sing that song every day, you are reminded that God is keeping you. Take this with you today. The Lord is my light and my salvation. And the modern songwriter added this to it. Wait on the Lord and be of good courage. Church, take this with you today. To God be the glory, be encouraged. God bless you.